Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, Eric from Fat Phone Games, and we're going to do another Clash Royale Let's Play. Uh, a lot's changed since the last time I made a recording here. Um, as you can see, I got my first Legendary. I, in fact, got a Sparky. Um, I got it out of one of the, I believe it was a Legendary chest that they had offered in the um, special deals, the special offers in the little chest down here, right here. I got a legendary one, um, and obviously I took advantage of it. So this is no longer technically a free-to-play account. Not a big deal. I never really intended it to be a free-to-play account, so doesn't really doesn't really hurt me. But this is the deck that I've been playing with lately, uh, Giant Sparky. Um, it's been interesting. Uh, as of late, um, I've kind of hit a ceiling where I just can't seem to progress into the next level. Uh, I can't get up into the next arena. I've been there, I've been to Frozen, I got, obviously, the the Ice Spirit there. Uh, I just haven't been able to stay there, so that's what we're going to attempt to do. I'm at 2158, I don't think we're going to make it this video. I've had some, I just played about three or four matches beforehand, and I just got slaughtered. So, that being said, I did want to play a replay of one of the previous videos and forgive me because I don't know if I can find this just offhand but it was a really really good uh, chase where I was chasing him and he was chasing me and it was a victory and he had Sparky and I had Sparky I hope it's still in here and I believe it's this one so we're gonna go ahead and watch this Alright, I'm trying to position my little camera as best I can. Alright, he's a level 8, I'm a level 9. Um, and he just basically goes at me, doesn't care what I do, and I don't care what he does. And it's one of those matches that I've never really quite understood why both players do it. I don't understand why I did it. I don't understand why he did it. Okay, so he's dropping the giant in the back. I obviously counter to the other lane. Um, I'm a higher level than he is, so I'm thinking that, you know, my cards would be a little higher level, and, uh, you know, he dropped Sparky, and right then I'm like, all right, it's on. So I drop Sparky. I try to drop my Sparky as far away from the Giant and the Tower to not have a bait. He's going to drop Minion Horde, so I'm going to counter with the Cannon and Zap to try to, like, restart the, um, the time on the Sparky and to uh, drop my... Uh, stuff behind there and as you can see I took his tower and all I got over there is just the uh, the three cards there the the giant the sparky and the uh, minion horde and he is laying a whomping on me right there and boosh out of nowhere I mean I was still focusing on his guys trying to stop him I mean it was just a fraction of a second but Zoro PvP from zone of danger did a really good job right there shout out to him and that was a really really good game so uh, nice little replay there, and let's let's get into a live match here. Let me see. Got my treasures unlocked. All right. I'm not gonna know exactly how well this is gonna go, but make sure I'm on the right deck. All right, here we go. I've been getting my butt kicked as of lately, so hopefully we can turn this around. All right, I'm gonna lead off with an elixir collector, and uh, you know I really like, just like to play defense with this deck, and let let things go. And of course. One of the worst things you can lay down. And we're going to go ahead and try to chisel at it. And that should do some really good work. So I'm going to lay the archers down. He's going to get some damage on the tower. And he got some good value out of that fireball. But overall, I'd say it's successful. I, I might have overpaid for that. But I'm okay with it. So we're going to attack the other lane. Um, I'm just laying it down so that I can have, you know, some pressure on him, so to speak. So he's going to have something similar. So I'm going to lay this down here. We're going to go there, and we're going to zap all of that. 
Oh, and he has Princess. How cute. Level 8 with Sparky and... That's pretty cute. Okay, we're going to lead out with a cannon this way. Right there. We'll try to come behind. I think this might be a little bit just too much to overcome. Alright, so... That being said, uh, it's not terribly bad. We're not in terribly bad position. I'm going to leave with my Sparky there. Two, three, we're going to zap. There we go. He's going to eventually get that off, but I'm going to get it off on his tower. And there we go. Alright, so he's going to crush that. I'm going to put tower here. I'm basically just going to play defense at this point. I'm going to zap his princess. I'm going to put another tower. Yeah, there's no way that I can overcome all of that. Yeah, so good game to this guy. Um, I have no idea how the hell to spell that. Some foreign name. I'm going to let him have it. And then he's going to start spamming his sh crap. I hate when they do that. Well played. Alrighty, let's move on to the next one. Uh, if this one doesn't go good, I'll switch over to maybe Hog Rider or to this deck. I haven't seen Giant, and every time I play Giant, uh, I'll switch decks, and then I, I don't see it again. It's like the algorithm knows that I've switched. Alright, we got Sema from somewhere. Who the hell knows? Kava Kazarava. Alright. Butchered your name, dude. I went to lay the giant. He dropped down the elixir collector in the back. Uh, he's a level nine, so this should be at least entertaining. Uh, he hasn't laid anything down, so I'm gonna go Sparky. I'm gonna go Archers. So then again, see, it's just the same like three, four decks that I keep getting over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and let that do its job. I'm going to drop this here. And uh, he's going to come down with the... Uh, what the hell is he playing? Alright, we're going to drop Elixir Collector here. We're sitting pretty still. I mean, we have 574 to his, to, to my nothing, so uh, this isn't a rush game. He's going to try to protect that side with everything he has, and I don't really blame him. So we're going to lay something. We're going to lay that giant in the back. He's going to probably lead out with a Sparky in the back, I'm guessing, because that's what he did last time. Who knows? Uh, let's try a trick. Let's try to bum rush him with some of those and see if he does anything about it. And then we're going to hit Sparky in the back. So if he drops his Sparky, which I'm not terribly concerned about. My Sparky's going to light that up. And we're going to zap that now. And then hopefully my Sparky takes out his Sparky. There we go. And we're going to lay down that. We're going to drop some of those bad boys. We're going to go there. We're going to drop a, a giant of our own. We're going to zap his. We're going to lay a cannon up here just to play defense here. Because I've already got the 1-0 victory. I really don't need anything else. So I'm going to lay an electric collector in front of this tower. I mean, I could literally hopefully just put a Sparky back here just because giant up there, soak up his stuff, we'll zap that, put some goblins behind there, and this is just the game, 
There we go. All right. So we're one and one. I'm half tempted just to end the video right there at a high now. <laughs> All right, we've got a silver chest with 15 gold. We're up 30 trophies on that. So we're still around 2158, which I think is exactly what we were at the beginning of the video. So, you know what? I think with that note, I think I am going to end the video here. Ended on a little high note. I, I haven't had the greatest luck, and it is nothing worse in the YouTube world when you end the video on a loss. I know YouTubers that will just keep going because they don't want to deal with the loss. So, overall, I mean, we haven't made any ground. Um, I'm a little closer to a crown chest, and, uh, you know, I filled up my my four slots at the bottom so overall I would say a very successful video so if you like this give a little thumbs up give me some feedback tell me what you like tell me if you want me to try any challenges um, any kind of feedback is great that's how we survive as youtubers so uh, until we meet again guys thanks a lot I'll see you then